Hi guys, Aceface here with another video on my Demon Prince conversion, Thousand Suns themed model. And as you can hear around, it's silent. So sorry again I've not had a lot of videos up, but with the arrival of a new baby in the house and my three year old running around like crazy, it's been quite hard to get any videos up. Um, but I'll do my best in the coming weeks to keep you up to date. But, seeing I have got a little window opportunity, I'm going to give you a quick little overview of the finished Demon Prince. Okay, so, very much was obviously Thousand Suns themed, but I also wanted him to kind of look a little bit like Magnus, just because I thought that would add sort of a little bit of an extra flavour to the actual model itself. So, if I just spin him round, you should be able to notice his glowing green eye. So, get him closer so you can actually see it. Just use a little bit of object source lighting. You can see it kind of glow in there, as well as with a kind of glow off the sort of eye at the top there as well. Um, so, that was kind of the, the idea that I was going for, which is why he's red skinned, being Magnus the Red. Now if we just have a little turn around, this is a combination of brushwork and airbrush, so I all the blue was done through airbrush just to kind of give it that kind of seamless blend, well try it, try it anyway, um, and you can sort of see it inside there, so it gives quite a nice little touch to it. The majority of the rest of the, of the actual body of the model was actually done through brushwork. Um, and dyes and, and inks, sorry. Um, and then I also airbrushed the black mace. So just used sort of a few other sort of uh, reference videos I saw on the net. If I can remember who they were, I will try and put links below. But you can kind of see just starting with almost like a white light at the front and then nicely blending in to a dark blue and then to an almost black at the back just to kind of give that kind of smoke coming off it and you can just see the sort of the silver from the actual ball and chain coming through as well so that's more or less it we'll just have a quick look at the base um, I've done kind of a scenic base because you kind of jump in in off this rock let's kind of zoom in see if we can get an idea of what it looks like so sort of textured cork there some sort of dry brush in and then some bicarbonate soda mixed with PVA glue to do the kind of snow effect which works quite nicely and uh, added some tufts of grass as you can see there and gone with a little sort of Egyptian themed scarabs sort of flying up off like a little sort of tomb type artifact down there on the base um, and as I said in previous I've had a sort of got him jumping on or off of the the rock to kind of simulate a little bit of movement in the model so there we go um, but yeah, I hope you like him. I'm quite pleased with him. I did enter him in the Throne Skulls sort of miniature competition when I was up there last weekend. Uh, didn't obviously win anything, but I got some nice comments, um, which was always pleasing to hear, and got some 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 good experience with that. So anyway, thanks very much guys for watching, thanks for all my subscribers, much appreciated, thanks for sticking with us, thank you for all the new subscribers, if you haven't already please do hit the subscribe, um, do comment and like as well, it helps me loads and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, take care now, bye bye. Oh, and just before I go, I've actually got a little sneak preview of what's coming up, so I'll just give you a quick little sneak, so, let's take that demon prince off, and... Pow! My next demon prince. Spin around. Right, that's it. You've had enough. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.